So in this episode, we will be continuing our Alaska caribou adventure with my daughter Hudson, Casey from Hudson, yes. and his son Gage. So cool. If you missed the last episode, please click the card and see Hudson and Gage tag out on awesome caribou. We are 62 miles in to the base of the Brooks Range and we have one pull. Kill two more caribou. We just tagged out in Alaska, guys. We just killed four caribou in like four days. After Gage and Hudson killed their bulls the day before, I woke up early and did some early glassing around camp. So my morning consists of getting up and looking out these windows. I don't know what time it is, but it's pretty early here. It's always light, so you never can't really tell time. So, but just looking out these windows, that's our meat right there. The caribou seem to like the gravel bars, so I go to all these windows grab the stabies and just glass all these gravel bars. That's the way we saw them for the kids yesterday. I don't see anything today. It poured down rain all night last night, so yeah, I have to worry about this camera. Yesterday afternoon it was kind of shutting on. I had it in a plastic bag all day, but it's just been so wet up here. Just it wouldn't start recording and then it would stop recording on its own. So we gotta be kind of worried about that a little bit. Yeah. Can you see the smoke in the cabin? Yeah. Look at this delicacy I made this morning. It's in great. French so good, toast. isn't it? Yes, oh. I did. Forgot to pack any vanilla, any butter, or no, we got butter, but I didn't have milk, milk or anything. Or so Lucerne liquid egg substitute. Unbelievable, as you can tell. The kids are raving about it, asking for the recipe. Thankful for them, it's fairly simple. Casey's coming back from the outhouse. Get some, find it, please find it. Nope. That's a man right now in great debate of whether to go back in that outhouse or <laughs> come back to the cabin. Looks like the outhouse it is. Okie doke. Trent, what's going on, buddy? We got some caribou bulls walking right towards the cabin right now. Get your stuff. Why do I look nervous right now? <laughs> Um, How case, far out are they? I want you to kind of look at them real quick because you know them better than I do. Straight out there by that pond. Are they coming right for us? They're giants. Dude, there are two absolute giants in there. Let's shoot them both. But where do we need to go? After spotting the herd on the move right by camp, we quickly got ready and geared up to make the short stock on them. Okay, we got caribou right out here. Come on. We handed the cameras to the kids and it was time for me and Casey to try to get some shots. The bulls were across the river and it did not look like that they would be coming our way. So we had to make the decision to shoot across the river. Okay, let's kneel down and spread out that back there. Just keep filming. I got it. Okay, we're not gonna shoot till you get them in your screen. Okay, so. Once we got set up, we had to try to kind of relocate the herd. We're set up in a prone position, so it was especially hard to see over the tundra. This added with the brush, it made it especially hard to get a good range on the bulls. So even if your range is off by 50 yards, it can affect the impact of the bullet by a long ways. So you need to definitely be accurate when you die. I see them. Let's just get a good range. They're coming right at us. I don't think they're gonna do anything. Let's get them, let them get here, you think? You want me to try to get a good range? So the edge of the bushes is 200 yards. They're less than three, so. Gage, are you good? You, you got him? Casey and I were laying prone and we tried, had to find a time that we could both shoot bulls without them being covered in brush. 
I have a shot, do you want me to take it? Let me get out of the, out of the bushes first. Save it for the night. Okay. Yeah, let's just let him do that. Do you want me to kill him? I'm gonna kill him. Hold on. You want him? Well, wait. Yeah, do do what you need to do, and I'll. Why don't you kill him? I'll just stand there. Okay. Just make sure you get a good shot. Which one are you taking? I'll take that very front one on the left. You ready? Yeah, I'll take the one on the right. Much. I can't. I gotta wait till they stop. They're gonna stop. Where are they at now for range? They're just past that. No, I they're see them. Running. They're running hard. Kid, they're about to stop. 272. Stop. Nice! Open. Smoke <laughs> for it. Holy crap. Try to get another one in. Oh, he's, he's safe. You don't have another one in. I don't. Did he go down? No. Where's he's he at? He's the closest one to us. He's dead, dude. He's dead. <laughs> dude! Tagged out and freaked an AK! <laughs> we did it, That's guys! We did it! No. We did it! <laughs> Trent we did it! Huh? Heck yeah, how cool is that? Oh, <laughs> they're coming right for us! Hey! There's your camera! Not messing around! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? What? Really? Uh, We're playing video games dude, here. I just saw tops like dude, walking at us. You just like, shot a giant caribou, man. I, I don't think it's a big one, but oh, it's, it's a nice a one. Oh, it's a nice one. <laughs> dude! We need a boat. That river came way up. The river's high. River's high. So we're in the cabin and I just look out the window and I just get up in glass every half an hour and that's what everybody says to do. And Dude. it's like they were coming right for us. That's, right here. Remember yesterday when I was like, how did you expect to kill a caribou? You're like, <laughs> we got one too. Yeah. We got him. Oh my goodness. We just tagged out in Alaska, guys. We just killed four caribou in like four days. Oh man, that was so exciting. <laughs> Look at our cabin. This is this is our this Literally is our cabin, right guys. <laughs> and just glassing out one of those windows every single morning and every single midday when it's I mean it's pouring down rain right now, but yes, so cool. We got a call for a boat to come. Hopefully, our awesome neighbor, uh, Welcome, is his name. His name is Welcome. Um, anyway, can shuttle us across. Speaking of Welcome, thank you, Welcome. Hey, you know what? This is what it's all about. Thank you. Looks like a dandy to me. Yeah, that's a nice one. Good job, bud. The last one provided. What do you think, buddy? Walking up on your first caribou. We see horns. We see horns. Our first goal was to get the kids a caribou, and then if we got the one, it would be a bonus. That is a freaking beauty, Trent. What do you think? I like how he does this, kind of comes back. Is it the whale tail? Whale tail. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a heck of a trip so far. We still got some goals. Huston's got some fishing goals, don't you? Oh yeah, I gotta catch a fish. Gotta catch that fish. We've gotta get that last last goal marked off the list for Alaska. So uh, but thank you guys for joining us with this to today. Um, more to come. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this. And then I don't know what we're gonna do for the next three days. Have a great time. Have a great time. Um, I feel very grateful that I got the chance to go on this trip. I feel like 
if you have the chance to do something that's important to you and you're just nervous about it, just do it. Because eventually, in the end, you're going to be like, I'm so glad I did that. I want to just thank everybody so much for watching this series. It made a huge, huge deal to me to go out and be there on my daughter's first big game hunt. It was so awesome. But guys, if you like good content, and I'm talking elk content coming up, uh, it's one of the best seasons that we've ever had. And it's, it's right on the heels of this. So keep watching. We're going to release these things in batches. We're doing some different stuff this year. It's going to be super, super awesome. Cannot wait to share this with you. Um, it's just been, it's just been such a blessed season. Thank you guys for watching so far and please stay tuned.